Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this series, we are creating a blogger template from scratch and we have already designed the desktop and the mobile version of our website. And uh, after that, we are converting the HTML, CSS and JavaScript to a blogger template. Now, this is our progress as of now. We have completed all these and we have also completed the contact section and the footer. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to create the most important section of our blogger template, which is the blog widget. So first of all, let's open our design and uh, this is the code of our design. Let's right click over here and click on open with live server. And this is our design and we can see that we have this blog section. So we're going to add this section to our blogger template in this video. So let's get started. <laughs> Now the first thing to do is create some posts. So I already created these three posts behind the scenes. So just go ahead and click on this button called new post and then just add the title and add some text and also add an image so that we can use it as the thumbnail and uh, also make sure that you also add the labels. So let me just open one of these posts and here we can see all the content of the post and on the right side here we can see we have the option of adding labels. So you can add multiple labels by adding commas. So here I have two labels, programming and guide. So these two labels will be displayed over here in our design. So these two are the labels. So whatever label we add over here will be displayed on our post. Now once you added a couple of posts, you can go ahead and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to theme and then click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. Now we have to add the block section after the header. So let's scroll down and find the header section. So this is the header section. And uh, then this is the alternate header. So here we can see this is the end of the header. Now after this, we can add our blog section. So let me just copy this and uh, create a new comment over here. And here we'll just tap end of blog section. All right, now here we will add the code for the body section. So first of all, let's go to our uh, HTML and let's go to the blog section. So here you can see this is the end of the header and uh, here we start with the block section. First of all, we are starting with the wrapper division and uh, then we have a section and we have a class called post wrapper and then we have an h2 and after that we start with the blog section. So let's copy these three lines of code from here and we'll paste it right here and uh, let's close the section and uh, let's also close the division. Alright, now let's add all the CSS for the blog section. So let's go to style.css and uh, this is the blog section. So we have already copied the H2 styles. So let's copy everything from here and uh, we'll copy it till here and we'll paste it with the CSS. So let's scroll up and uh, this is the contact form. Right here is the end of the header. We'll create a new comment. And here we'll paste the CSS. All right, now let's save this and uh, see what are the changes. And here we can see our uh, heading is being displayed, but we're on the same styles as this heading over here. So let's add the selector of this item to the styles of this as well. So right click over here and uh, if we inspect, we can see this is inside post wrapper and we have this H2. So let's go to our uh, CSS and uh, let's find the H2. So here's the H2. Let's add one more selector over here. So let's add a comma. And here we'll tap dot posts wrapper H2. And we'll do the same for the after selector. So posts wrapper H2 colon colon after. And let's save this and let's refresh our page and now we can see we have the correct styling for the heading now this heading should only be displayed on the home page so we'll add an if condition and make it appear only on the home page so let's go back to the h2 and here we'll add an if condition so we'll tap b colon if cond equals data colon view dot is home page and we'll close the if condition right here and let's save this and uh, the heading is being displayed over here let's go to another page let's 
go to the search and the heading is not displayed over here. So now it's time for us to add the blog widget. To add a widget you have to first of all create a section. So here we'll type B section and we'll give it an ID of B section blog and we'll close it right here and inside the section we'll create a widget so we'll type b colon widget we'll give it an id of blog1 and the type will be blog and close the widget All right now let's save this and let's refresh our page and here we can see all the blog posts are being displayed and all the content is being displayed correctly we have the posted by and the date and we also have the labels over here let's open a post so let's open this one right here and we can see we have the alternate header and the whole post is being displayed over here we also have the comment section right here so everything is working all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to rearrange some of these items and we need to add the styles we already added the styles but we need to update the selectors because we had styled it according to the HTML now we have to check what are the selectors of this blogger template and we have to update the current CSS selectors with the selector of this blogger website. So first of all, let's arrange everything and uh, then we'll be able to style everything correctly. So let's go back to our uh, theme code and uh, let's reload our page. And now we can see the whole code of the blog widget. So here we can see this is the blog widget and uh, everything right here is the code. So all this code is automatically generated when we added the widget. Or another first thing we'll do is uh, we'll remove this date header from here and we'll also remove this no comments from here. And uh, in our design we don't have the posted by detail. So here we only have the date. So if you don't want you can remove this as well and uh, you can just keep the date. So let's make these changes in our code. So let's go to our uh, code and uh, here we can see we have these widget settings and here we have an option called show date header so it is set to true we'll change it to false and let's save it and let's refresh our page and we can see the date header has disappeared so it is not being displayed now in the same way we can also remove this no comments and uh, this uh, author details from here so here we have different options we can enable or disable them now there's one more way in which you can uh, customize these options so you have to go to the blogger dashboard and click on layout and here you can find your widgets so here we can see the blog post widget here we have the contact us widget so if you scroll to the right we can see we have an option to edit so let's click on that and here are some of the options to edit so we saw these options in our code as well this is the date header so we have already unchecked it and you can uncheck this if you want posted by details and uh, you can change this text over here as well and you can go ahead and make these changes so let's remove the comments from here and uh, and i'll also remove the author information from here so that our theme will look exactly like the design and in our design we also have this text as posted on so let's change this to posted on and uh, let's save it right now let's refresh our page and we can see that uh, the author information is being removed and we also have the date and the text is posted on so everything is working all right till now now the next thing we'll do is we'll move these labels and the date to the top so the date is just below the heading so let's go back to the code and let's inspect where all the data is actually being shown so let's scroll down and here we can see we have an includable with an id of post and it is being included somewhere in our code but this is basically the code which is being included so this whole includable and we can go ahead and make changes in this so here we can see we have this post h entry let's go over here and right click and click on inspect and here we can see the division with the class post h entry so this is the data from the includable so let's go over here and uh, this is the end of the title so after the title we need to include the date so let's scroll down and see where the date is 
Now if you take a look at this, we have a post footer over here and uh, if we go back to our design and uh, let's inspect and let's see what is the class name. So inspect and here we can see we have a division with the class of post footer. Now we have to bring this up just before the heading. So this is the post footer. So let's fold it and uh, let's cut this from here and uh, let's go over here after the title we will paste our date so the whole post photo division has been placed just after the title so let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see after the title we have the date the same with all the other posts now the next thing is we will add the thumbnail of our post so if you go to the design the thumbnail of our post is uh, before the title so first of all we have the thumbnail and in the thumbnail we have these labels now in a blogger theme the thumbnail is selected based on the first image so whatever first image you have in your post will be used as a thumbnail so let's go to our code and uh, let's add the thumbnail so here just after the includable starts we'll write the code for the thumbnail now since blogger websites consider the first image as the thumbnail we have to check whether we have the first image in the blog post so let's add an if condition and uh, here we will type cond and we'll type data colon post dot first image url and uh, let's close the if condition right here now our thumbnail will be inside this if condition now let's go to our code and uh, let's go to the index.html file Let's look at the structure of our thumbnail. Here we can see we have a division with the class of thumbnail image and in that we have the post labels and we also have the thumbnail image itself. So let's copy this from here and uh, let's paste it right here or we will add the post labels later so we'll just delete it from here and uh, for the image of the thumbnail we have to provide it an expression because uh, it is not a static image the image will change depending on the data of the blog post so what we'll do is uh, we will add an expression now to add an expression you have to type expr colon src so we are adding the expression to the src attribute so he will type equals and uh, in single quotes we will type data dot post dot first image url now this will fetch the first image from the post and uh, paste the link over here in the src now for the alt we will add just the title of the post so he will type expr colon alt and uh, here we will type data colon post dot title so that's it with our thumbnail image now let's save this now let's refresh our page and I think something went wrong we have nothing visible over here so let's go back and uh, so here after the data we have added a full stop we need to add a colon right now it will work so let's save this and let's reload our page and here we can see the thumbnail of our image is being displayed and then we have the title so this is the thumbnail of the second post and this is the third post now if you remember the labels were inside the thumbnail image division so let's find the code for the labels so if we scroll down we can see in photo line 2 we have this code for the labels so let's cut this from here and uh, let's paste it inside the thumbnail image division and uh, if you go to our design the class is post labels so the class is the same we don't need to make any changes over here and uh, let's save it and here we can see the labels are being displayed now we don't want to display this labels text over here so let's delete this line of code data post labels label so if you delete this the labels text won't be shown so now we can see the labels are being displayed over here now we also need to add the label icon so here we can see we have the label icon before the labels so let's go to our uh, pages and uh, we have created a page and we have added all our images right here so let's go to the HTML view and let's search for label and uh, this is the link for the label image so let's copy this 
and uh, let's paste it just before the list of labels so before the loop here we will create an img tag and we'll type src and in the single quotes we will just paste the link of the image and we'll close the img tag so now we can see the icon is being displayed So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.